third one. Is one of the marriage partners mandated to make the final decision in case of non-agreement? Alan gave Larry an answer, but a conditional one. It was a great interview. I wonder how you feel about this in your marriage. There's some things as a husband that you don't feel you should compromise on. Can you can you elaborate on that a little bit, please? Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's never actually happened in our marriage. But let's say I was asked to compromise on something spiritual that I thought was an absolute red the red line. Okay. In that situation, or if there was something that I thought was financially irregular, or oh, morally good, good, irregular, good, 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 yeah. or spiritually irregular. As the head of the household, I would have to say lovingly, but respectfully, but firmly say, actually, no, this is the way we're going to go. Now, the fantastic thing in our marriage is that we've always been on the same page, really, for 25 years. So I don't think we've ever had that, but sometimes you don't have to compromise either. Okay. So you have, in have you ever imposed yourself in that way with your wife? I, nothing springs to mind. I wouldn't say never. I can't think of anything. Um, but there's probably, again, micro things where I've just said, actually, we are going to do it this way. Yeah. And it's rarely come to a clash of heads because if you love your wife, as Christ loves the church, and your wife obviously submits to me uh -huh. in, in a loving way, then big confrontation yeah. rarely comes up. So I'm, I'm yeah. struggling to think of a massive okay. situation. Because there have been some things in my marriage where I've had to do that. Yeah. I've had to make a decision, yeah. but I have earned her respect yeah. before yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she will say, okay, well, he sees something I don't see, and I will um, I will defer to him on this. Yeah, yeah, but I if I that. hadn't earned her respect before yeah, I did that, absolutely. she would be rightfully saying, well, okay, you want me to take you somewhere. Well, I don't understand where you're taking me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so respect is something that, that was established before yeah. I did that. Um, the decision to move to Africa, yeah, yeah, yeah. the decision to leave Africa, etc. Things like that. Would you say the buck stops there? Oh, with, sure. with the man? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yes. I, I feel it does. Very it's, unpopular idea. With the buck has got to stop somewhere. If the buck doesn't stop, the buck just yeah, keeps on running. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, but uh, you know, marriage is lovely, messy. I think the important thing is, is it's you real. grow in Christ, it's real. <laughs> as Christian marriage, as you look towards Christ, a lot of these things actually resolve themselves. Yes, they do. Oh, wonderful. I really like Alan's take on this point and fully agree that if a man makes a decision overriding her opinion, he'd better have earned her respect because otherwise he really is literally playing with fire. Next week, Larry resumes chapter 10 on her husband's protection with observations from the East Beach Cafe. Do join us. God bless and bye for now.